sometime before dawn, the first male black grouse arrive on the lake site. They immediately begin displaying and calling, hoping to attract females to mate. Males gather on open areas such as peat cutting sites or natural bogs to display on small territories called leks. These territories contain no resources and the females only come to these sites to assess male quality and to mate. Males carry out a number of characteristic behaviours of black grass legs. One of these is fluttering, where males leap into the air beating their wings. They carry this out in particular when females are flying nearby. Another behaviour is called hissing. Males stand up tall and blow air through their air sacs, producing a characteristic hissing sound. This is sometimes accompanied by short leaps or hops into the air. Rooking is one of the most common behaviours shown by lecking males. They stand still with their bodies tilted forward, their lower tail erect and their eye comes inflated, and produce a bubbling call-like sound. Fighting is one of the most important behaviours that are displayed on the legs. There are three levels of fights, the first of which males will stand facing each other with some stepping backwards and forward with very little bodily contact. The second level of fight is a little bit more vigorous. Males will jump against each other, but generally there is no physical harm actually done between combatants. Level 3 fights are the most aggressive attacks, where males will jump up against each other and attempt to peck each other's beaks and feathers and eye combs, sometimes causing quite serious injuries. Typically the confrontation is of short duration, um, often ending with one male being pursued by the other. As well as behaviours, male black grouse show a number of sexually selected traits, all of which are signalling male quality. These include bright red eye combs, long curved tail feathers called a lyre, and a blue chromostructural coloration. Females use both behaviours and male phenotype to select which one to mate with. These mates are often very brief in duration, and after mating, females will leave the lek and go away and lay eggs. Black grouse are an important model species to study uh, eco-evolutionary and behavioural ecology questions. The field component of our work is incredibly important. In winter time we come out to these leks and we trap males and females using baited walk-in traps. We take morphological measurements, we take blood samples of which we can measure parasites. In springtime like now we come to the leks um, and do early morning observations. We monitor the behaviour of males, we measure the, uh, we count the number of copulations that take place uh, and possible and we can identify the females that come to be copulated. Our work isn't just important for um, behavioural ecology and evolutionary ecology, it has more applied aspects. In Finland, for example, the number of grouse that are hunted each year is, is very large in comparison to other countries, so it's very important to monitor the populations. Some of our work has also focused on the behavioural implications of hunting and how this can actually then be used in the future to perhaps create more effective management plans.